healthcare at home. Investors are going to be uh, showing impatience, it looks like, on this U.S.-China trade deal. Uh, stocks coming off their worst day nearly a month. The Dow shedding nearly 1% yesterday, but investors are going to shift their focus to retail earnings today. We've got some key players reporting this morning. Target and Kohl's. Target expected to post a profit of a buck 52 a share. That's 10% better than at this time last year. Kohl's forecast to earn 218 a share despite a weak holiday season overall. How are markets going to digest this and everything else going on? Let's bring in Melissa Armo of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Uh, we'll get to the earnings in a second, but I first want to start with this China trade news because we're starting to see kind of this, this shift in the analyst community where they're saying there could be a sell on the news situation when the U.S. and China finally, we think, sign something uh, later this month. We think it's going to be in Mar-a-Lago. Um, are you doubtful that this is going to be a good deal for the U.S.? I absolutely do not agree with the sell on the news. All of the information that's been coming out, no one really knows what's going on behind the scenes. And a deal hasn't been made yet. Yes, the market has rallied on an anticipation of a deal happening. I would say the market's going to sell off if a deal doesn't happen. But if a deal is solidified, I absolutely believe that the market will take off like a rocket. We're, not, we're only 5% off the highs as of even yesterday. Yesterday was a big sell-off day, but I would say yesterday sold off more because the Democrats subpoenaed 81 people and entities, and they're going after Trump's finances. And I think that is the reason that the market sold off yesterday. We're going to have a report on that later on in the show, because and that's a good point that there's a lot of political turmoil at home, and that certainly has affected the markets. We've Absolutely. seen that time and time again. I'm glad you brought that up. Really quick, you know, speaking of the president, you know, he took a swipe at, at Jerome Powell over the weekend. Those attacks have continued. Does that worry you? Because it does seem like Jerome Powell has kind of found his uh, footing, if you will, in his testimony and kind of learned to kind of measure his words a little bit better. It was a nice swipe, though. He <laughs> called him a gentleman. I wouldn't say that he attacked it. He just, it was just a little tiny reminder about to keep rates low. We don't know what's going to happen this year with the Fed, but you saw last year when the Fed raised rates, then the market sold off, and then when the Fed backed off, the market rallied. So Trump has a point. All right, let's get back to some of these numbers, Melissa, that we're watching. Construction spending actually fell 0.6% in December, so a little bit of concern about the housing market and also the not just residential but uh, the commercial space as well. And then also you've got earnings coming out today from some of the retailers. What are you expecting from Target and Kohl's? There's been a lot of concern about Target kind of now going direct-direct uh, against Amazon because that grocery business has been so good for Walmart and Target. Now Amazon is like, oh, not so fast, folks. We're jumping right in. I think Target's the one to watch this morning that could really do it. Now, I don't know. I believe if Target gaps up over 78 bucks a share or even $80, Target would look phenomenal. The chart would be, again, not that far off the highs. As far as competitors with Amazon, Walmart and Target are the only ones that can really go head to head with Amazon. And Target now is doing same day delivery in certain cities. Mm -hmm. And again, that's what Amazon does. And two free day delivery. So all of these things it's trying to compete. Kohl's again is another one to watch. Both of these stocks are still in uptrends, but if either one falls today, that could pull everything down. This morning looks good. The market's up. So if the, one of these stocks reports well or both, they could look like nice longs today with the market if the market recovers. But we have to wait and see. They haven't reported yet. I'm glad you brought that up because futures are higher this morning after that big sell-off yesterday. It was kind of a crazy day, but we've got our Pepto-Bismol for today, and hopefully <laughs> it's a little bit better. Melissa Armo, always great to have you on Thank the show. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great points from you. Remember, Remember, folks, Mornings with Maria is...